the Chandogya Upanishad. Chapter 6 The Story of Shvetaketu Shvetaketu was Udalaka's son. When he was twelve years old, his father said to him, It is time for you to find a teacher. Dear one, for no one in our family is a stranger to the spiritual life. So Svetaketu went to a teacher and studied all the Vedas for twelve years. At the end of this time, he returned home proud of his intellectual knowledge. You seem to be proud of all this learning, said Udalaka. But did you ask your teacher for that spiritual wisdom which enables you to hear the unheard, think the unthought, and know the unknown? What is this wisdom, my father? asked the son. Udalaka said to Shvetaketu, As by knowing one lump of clay, dear one, we come to know all things made out of clay, that they differ only in name and form, while the stuff of which all are made is clay, As by knowing one gold nugget, dear one, we come to know all things made out of gold, that they differ only in name and form, while the very stuff of which all are made is gold. As by knowing one tool of iron, dear one, we come to know all things made out of iron, that they differ only in name and form, while the stuff of which all are made is iron. So it is through that spiritual wisdom, dear one, we come to know that all of life is one. My teachers must not have known this wisdom, said Svetaketu, for if they had known, how could they have failed to teach it to me? Please, my father, instruct me in this wisdom. Yes, dear one, I will, replied his father. In the beginning was only being, one without a second. Out of himself he brought forth the cosmos and entered into everything in it. There is nothing that does not come from this of everything, it is the inmost self. That is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that. And that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu. Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. Let us start with sleep. What happens in it? 
When one is absorbed in dreamless sleep, he is one with the self, though he knows it not. We say he sleeps, but he sleeps in the self. As a tethered bird grows tired of flying about in vain to find a place of rest, and finally settles down at last on its own branch, so the mind, tired of wandering about hither and thither, settles down at last in the self, dear one, to which it is ever bound. All creatures, dear one, have their source in this. This is their home. It is their strength. When a person departs from this world, my dear, his speech merges in mind. His mind in prana and prana in fire, and fire in pure being. There is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything it is the innermost self. That is the truth, and the truth is that. I am that, you are that. All of this is that, and that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu. Please tell me, Father, more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. As bees suck nectar from many a flower and make their honey one, so that no drop can say, I am from this flower or I am from that flower. All creatures, although one, know not that they are that one. And there is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything, it is the innermost self. That is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that. And that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu. Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. As the rivers flowing east and west merge in the sea and become one with it, forgetting that they were ever separate rivers, So do all creatures lose their separateness when they merge at last into pure being. And there is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything, it is the innermost self. That is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that, and that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu.
Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. Strike at the root of a tree. It would bleed, but still live. Strike at the trunk. It would bleed, but still live. Strike again at the top. It would bleed, but still live. The self as life supports the tree, which stands firm and enjoys the nourishment it receives. If the self leaves one branch, that branch withers. If it leaves a second, that too withers. If it leaves a third, that again withers. And let it leave the whole tree, the whole tree dies. And just so, dear one, when death comes and the self departs from the body, the body dies, but the self dies not. And there is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything, it is the innermost self. That is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that. And that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu. Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. Bring me fruit from the Nigrodha tree. Here it is, sir. Break it open. What do you see? These seeds, Father, all exceedingly small. Break open the seed. What do you see? Nothing at all. That hidden essence that you do not see, my dear, from that a whole Nayagrodha tree will grow. And there is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything it is the innermost self. And that is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that. And that is all there is, my dear Shvetaketu. Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will. Udalaka said. Place this salt in a glass of water and bring it here to me tomorrow morning. The boy did as he was asked. The next day he came with glass of water. Where is that salt? his father asked. 
I do not see it. Sip it here. How does it taste? It tastes salty, my father. And taste it here and there. I taste salt everywhere. It is everywhere, though we see it not. Just so, my dear, the self is everywhere, within all things, although we see it not. And there is nothing that does not come from this, of everything. It is the innermost self. And that is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. All of this is that. And that is all there is. My dear Shvetakitu. Please, Father, tell me more about this self. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. If a man from Gandhara was blindfolded and led away from his home and left in a lonely place, he may turn east and turn to the west and to the north and the south and shout, I am left here and I cannot see. Until one removes his blindfold and says, there lies Gandhara, follow that path and you will find your way home. And thus informed, Able to see for himself, the man continues inquiring from village to village and reaches his homeland at last. Just so, my son, one who finds an illumined teacher attains to spiritual wisdom in the self. And there is nothing that does not come from this. Of everything, it is the inmost self. It is the truth. The truth is that. I am that. You are that. And that is all there is. Please tell me more about this self, Father. Yes, dear one, I will, Udalaka said. When a man is dying, his family will gather around and ask, Do you know me? Do you know me? And so long as his speech has not merged in mind, his mind in prana, prana in fire, and fire in pure being, then he knows them all. However, there is no more knowing when speech merges in mind, mind in prana, prana in fire, and fire in pure being. There is nothing that does not come from this, of everything that is the innermost self. That is the truth. The truth is that. I am that, you are that, all of this is that, and that is all there is, Shvetaketu. Then Shvetaketu understood this teaching, truly. He understood all of it.